Hello there, everyone. This is G Maynard here, and welcome back to G Maynard Plays Metroid. Last time, we ended up beating the game. Yeah, essentially, we defeated Mother Brain and escaped from Planet Zebus. However, I should point out that we're not fully done with this Let's Play, as there is just one last video I'd like to make. And it concerns... the passwords select. Basically, as I mentioned before, Metroid here utilizes a password system for continuing. Um, each word here... I mean, I mean, there's a, um, essentially, uh, basically each password and each digit here, and e I mean, uh, I'm not sure how to say um, each numerical value here, or each number and, um, letter, and maybe a few symbols here, um, each dictate on how... Well, basically, keeps check of the, your game products, like where you start, how many missiles you start with, like how many missiles you obtained, um, what area you start in, how many energy tanks you've acquired, and whether any bosses have been defeated. Oh, and also if any missile doors have been opened. Today, I'm going to be going over... 10 notable passwords and discussing what each of them will do. First up is um, a password primarily related to the North American region release. This is a well known one. This here is known as. Let's see here, let's see. Let's type it out here. Start our game. And we appear to start off with the different version of the ice beam. It appears that, um. Oh, and we also start off with the morph ball. It appears that the ice beam appears to, um. Seem the energy pellets from it seem to, um. Depict the wave beam style. Alright, and things seem normal, I guess. Um, except um some damage related stuff, I guess. Yeah, basically, um, this is technically a debug code, not much else. I think that's what it essentially is. Um, what NAR stands for, it's either North American region or... Yeah, it's basically which is either North American region or not a real password. Even though it technically is a real password. Anyways, I'm probably going to reset the game and work on the n down the password list. Alright, and this password essentially takes you to Torian. You start off with, um... Uh, basically, 
all energy tanks, um, good chunk of missiles, and uh, um, your base. Basically, you have most of the upgrades. Essentially, um, this password is technically used, um, best used for those who um, want to reach the end. If you're good enough, that is. Point that out. Basically, since it starts a clock at... Z oh yeah, also, one thing I'd like to point out is that um, these passwords also detail how much time has been the game has been played. So, um, and since this code starts you off with zero, um, you essentially get yeah, this, this essentially allows you to speed run the game, get, um, re get the best ending. Anyways, that's enough topic for that. Let's go reset the system. Next up is probably the most famous password in this um, game. And that password here being... Justin Bailey starts you off in Norfair. Basically, start off with um, several missiles, um, five energy tanks, and Sam is here is essentially in Leotard for um, the uh, second to best ending, which is obtained if you beat it under three hours, but more than one hour. Okay. Essentially, um, on a side note, I should point out that, um, this suit can also be obtained if you, uh, if after you beat the game under three hours, You'll start off with in this. Um, once the credits finish rolling and you choose to continue, you'll start a new game with this outfit. Anyways, people are unsure what the um, past, um, where the term Justin Bailey comes from. Like from what I've. Like, some rumors supposedly, like, it's a slang term for, like, an Australian slang term for, and it, like, um, supposedly a term on the Australian phrase, uh, Justin a Bailey, with Bailey supposedly being a Australian slang term for a, um, bathing suit. However, that's supposedly a, may not be the case. I'm not, then again, I do not know if, Australians actually call bathing suits Baileys. They do call stuff many weird things. Anyways, um, that's just a basic summary of what that is. Also, I I should point out one thing. Um, um. Suitless Samus in a morph ball looks really weird. Anyways, um, that's some discussion. That's basically a short discussion about Justin Bailey. Now, let's head on to the next password. Alright. Next password is, um... Relatively simple one. Alright, and this password here is continue my e game, mini boss. Alright, 
and um, apparently here Samus also starts off in her leotard form here. Except without green hair, which is primarily obtained from um, if you've obtained the um, various suit in this outfit. On a side note, you also lack the long beam. You have the wave beam, but lack the long beam. Of course, um, I'll probably be going to um, fast forward to a certain um, the significance of continue my e game mini boss. You know, I should actually just pause in here to get the logging beam anyways. Then we'll probably resume our chase. And here's the thing with the game. Um, basically, this essentially Ridley and Crate have already been defeated, and you can just access Torian. I should probably point out it's probably best you get some more energy tanks and um, the ice beam beforehand because Metroids are only weak to the ice beam. Just pointing that out. Anyways, next password. Next um, password was um, one I got through a uh, password generator. Um, essentially, decided to type in what happened. And basically, um, supposedly this password um, starts you off in Brinstar with typically everything unlocked. Just going to test that out. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, okay, apparently it just gave me the wave beam instead. Um, guess I may have selected the wrong thing in the password. But anyways, I'm gonna... something I'm just gonna... check involving that. Alright, I've made it to a certain door and I'm just gonna see if the code worked the way I intended. Alright. <clears throat> So far, some of these Zebatites protecting Mother Brain are gone. Should be noted that once you de destroy a Zebatite, um, it stays destroyed. From the looks of it, there doesn't appear to be a time bomb set this time around. So from the looks of it, 
you appear to be free to complete the, um... Uh, final climb to exit Torian. So you can escape it before this area much easier without a um, time limit. Oh, I just need to see if, uh, I'm just gonna try and reach the end to see if, um, Still get the best ending from inputting that code. All right, let's check. Yep, and that got me the best ending. So essentially that was just an ultimate cheater's code. Basically another variant of um, a password I showed earlier, except you don't start in um, Torian. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's check out another password. Next one, um, let's see how many have. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think I'm halfway through my password things. Next one is not a password that I am not going, that I will input, but I will not. Oh, never mind. Hold on, wait, let's try that again. Okay, as I was saying earlier, I'm going to put in the password. I'm just not going to push start after I input this password. Um, this is a, an extremely infamous password. And let's see. I think some of you watching probably know what password I'm talking about here just by seeing it being typed out. All right, and this is that infamous password. Basically, it's um, generally, um, messes up the game a bit. Um, they see references an invalid starting location and generates a ridiculous game time value. Um, supposedly, um, the equivalent of about 314 and a half years. And depending on the console emulator, it can crash your system. Or like with or in some cases, like with the like if you use a if you're playing this on a virtual console through the, the Nintendo 3DS, it can actually brick the console. So in other words if, um if you um, do not, and if you want to, um, mess up your, um, if you, if you're, um, feeling stupid, I guess, you could probably put it in. However, if you, smart people should probably not put this password in. All right, next one um, is a strange password. 
uh, mainly be um. Mainly due to, um, how like, not because it happens to be programmed in, but because it seems to spell out something that, um, would not come into existence until after, uh, sometime after the game has been released. About three years after the game was released in Japan, to be exact. Yep, this code being Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z. Granted, the original Dragon Ball existed before, um... Metroid became a thing, however, like, finally, yeah. I should point out that, um, that's just, uh, oh, I'm dead. Basically, what that password did was essentially Spawn as suitless Samus in warfare with 172 missiles, 5 energy tanks, and 30 units of energy. Then again, you always start with 30 units of energy. A screw attack, high jump boots, morph ball and bombs, and the ice beam. And supposedly says the code starts you with the long beam, but... Um... I didn't really notice it. Well, anyways, next password. Anyway, this is a another weird password. Mainly not because it's programmed in. However, it strangely seems to reference something that would not exist for about 10 that wouldn't exist until about 10 years after um the original game released I'm talking about Metroid that is This here being Oddish, Tauros, Mewtwo, and Vulpix. Which are, of course, names of Pokemon. And I should point out that Pokemon would not come into existence until 1996, while Metroid came into fruition in, in well, it really, well, Metroid didn't release until, not, Metroid released in 1986, and Pokemon didn't release until 1996. Anyway, this password starts you off in Norfair. Um. Also, she apparently has the very suit. I mean, actually, no. She's suitless. Um, starts with a few missiles. Pierce has a screw attack. Uh, ice beam. Sent uses the debug ice beam. Oh, does she have bombs? She does not. Okay. So, that's essentially what that password does. Say, some of these... <laughs> I should point out that some of these passwords are really weird. Anyways. Next password. Alright, anyway, um... Next here is what is considered to be... Um, probably the um, supposedly the most useless password ever. Right. 
All right, essentially this. Essentially starts you off as Suitless Samus and Torian. I'm just gonna exit out of here. Yeah, on a side note, not only do you start off in Torian, other than the long beam and a few missiles. Oh, and an empty energy tank. Um, you are, you essentially are powerless. Like, no items at all. You should also point out that you cannot even exit. And you, that, I mean, like, you cannot use the morph ball either. So essentially, this is an instant lose code. Alright, and with that, we got, let's input the last password. Alright, this is, alright, last password, um, seems to be a password that, um, has gained some traction more recently. Anyways, um, let's go type this in. Mother brain. Yep, this password also involves use of the F bomb. Typically, I you don't I try to use try to avoid using foul language depending on um, the rating of the game. Anyways, this one will start us off. In Norfair, um... Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, that doesn't start off us off with a morph ball. But there's one thing I want to try out. Okay, um, maybe I'll try again one more time. You know, maybe, um, thing once I die, I'll probably tell you what this supposedly. Basically, um, essentially, what this password does, um, besides spawn you in, um, Torian with, um, the Ice Beam, a uh, Suitless, and, um, with no Morph Ball, apparently. It essentially, um, basically, um, when you arrive and when you reach Mother Brain's lair, um, Mother Brain will essentially be defeated and you can just take the exit. I mean, like, basically take the, 
excuse me, um, you'll essentially exit the ending shaft without any time limit. On a side note, um, it should be noted that with that password, uh, I'm okay. Like, like what I should point out is that um, when you beat the game, when you eventually finish the game, um, you are defaulted, and with that password. Um, and put it in. If you somehow manage to beat, um, finish the, uh, reach the end, um, you are defaulted to the bad ending. This is probably because it, I, the, um, system registers the game as ha having been played for about more than 300 years in game. And since playing for more than 10 hours defaults you with the worst ending, it's not a recommended code. So anyways, that was my Let's Play of Metroid. I hope those of you who've watched it enjoyed it. Um, I'm not the best Metroid player, especially when it comes to the original version. Um, I had to resort to a guide at some points. Granted, from what I've heard, some people had had to resort to a guide when playing the original Metroid. Especially doesn't help that the game has a lot of copy and paste environments in order to increase the size of this world. Anyways, um, that's pretty much all what I have to say for this Let's Play. And uh, I think after I should probably get ready to for the next one. Um, all I know is that if I continue the Metroid series, um, it won't be like in game in release order. It'll be in um, chronological order, as in the story. So instead of playing Metroid 2: Samus Returns, um, I'll be playing Metroid Prime next if I return to the Metroid. Well, that'll depend on what is decided for my next Let's Play. Anyways, this is G-Mainit here saying see you all next Let's Play. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>